hello everyone welcome to the channel back again with another educational video now in today's video we're going to talk about why it's a big big mistake for individuals to um, rely on a job insurance as their way of protecting their family so uh, that's a big big mistake many people make thinking that that's enough to take care of their family and uh, they have a false sense of security in their job insurance. So we're going to break down the reasons why uh, that's not a good idea and why you definitely would want to have a policy that you own and control your, and pay for yourself. Okay. So, so the first thing, the first thing is ownership. Uh, the first reason why this is not a great idea to rely on your job insurance because you are not the owner of the policy. Your job owns the policy. It's a group life policy, which is a form of company group term insurance, right? So it's a group life policy and the company owns the policy, which means that the company can change coverage whenever they want. The company could stop coverage whenever they want. It's not guarantee, okay? So they have full ownership of it. So you don't want to rely on something for your family that's owned by someone else that they have full control of that they could turn off whenever they want and stop whenever they want, all right? So that's number one, ownership. Big, big, big deal. The second thing is that 99% of all group policies, just like term policies, are not paid out. Only 1% of the time they're paid out. And that's because in the form of a term insurance policy, that's usually not paid out because the term is up or the policy is lapsed. Very rarely does it pay out where the person die within that term. So only 1% of the time, same thing with a group policy. 99% of the time it's not paid out because most of the time the person don't die while they're working for that job. Think of this. If you work for, for company A and then you worked there for five years and you left and you went to work for company B comp and you... God forbid you passed away. Company A is not going to pay for your funeral, are they? They're not because you don't work there anymore. Well, that's the case most of the time. People don't die while working at that job, right? And the only way the, 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 the death benefit will be paid out to your family is if you die while working there. The third reason is that it's never enough. It's a group policy. They're paying for a group, everybody in the company, right? So it's never enough. It's not an individualized program where it, someone sit down and look at your particular needs and see what you need, what you're going to need for your mortgage, what you're going to need for your income to replace your income, what you're going to need for your children if you pass away before your children is grown up and taking care of themselves, what you're going to need for them and for their education. Most, most parents do want to help their children with their education. So none of that is taken into consideration. Most of the time, what, whatever you get is just enough to take care of your funeral, right? At least it does that, but that's not enough for your family, all right? So that's number th the third, third reason. Fourth reason is that usually what happened is that you end up not having that policy when you're, you're older. Life insurance premiums and rates are based on your age, your gender, your health conditions, and your lifestyle, right? And most of the time when people end up resigning, right, or retiring, it's in their elder years where now it's going to be more costly to get life insurance. Or they may not be healthy enough to get life insurance. So if you leave that job when you retire in 65, 
Now you have no policy. You have a policy that was term, right? Now you have no policy. So in order for you to go out there and get insurance, you're starting from scratch. You're getting that policy at your attained age of 65. And at 65, you weren't as healthy as you were at age 30. Okay? So uh, your, your premium is going to be very expensive. And what often happens is that because it's so expensive at that time, people end up not getting any life insurance. So they're left without life insurance. And that's, that's not right for their family. That's not right. They're supposed to have life insurance. So you don't want to make, this is a very big mistake to make. You don't want to make this mistake. Start now. Start from your younger. Get yourself a policy that's going to be there till you die. You can get term insurance for temporary needs, but you also need a permanent solution because there's two types of insurance. There's what if, what if stuff happened insurance, which is term. What if I die before um, my kids are grown up and before I make all this money that I plan to make? Uh, I, I, need to, I need to take care of this because I just don't have the money right now. Term insurance could take care of that. And then you have when I die, perm that's permanent insurance. That's for sure. At one point, we're going to die. We're hoping it's later on. So we do still need an option. We need a plan for a permanent purpose later where we, where funeral is going to be taken care of. We're going to have a wealth transfer to our heirs uh, so they can continue living and build up on what we started. So um, those are the different reasons. But again, you don't want to be in a situation where you're depending on your job because of the reasons I just explained. You want a policy that you own and control and pay for yourself, and you want to make sure that you get the solution in place right now, start from now, so that if things happen later on, you're not scrambling and put yourself in a position that you can't change because you can't, you can't go back in time. You can't take back time, right? That's one thing that you cannot get back. So you want to make sure that you do it now so that you don't regret it later. All right. Until next time, I'll see you guys soon.